I'm the artist here working today on the mural at our event community garden. Uh, the mural features uh, different modes of transportation, it features uh, local flora, and we wanted to really um, focus on different modes of transportation for a clean air day. On October 4th, 2023, employees, students, and community volunteers joined forces to combat air pollution through a unique initiative at UC Riverside. Uh, what I love about this event and that is that is, it is community driven um, and of course it is art driven and so for myself being a muralist in the city riverside uh, always uplifting artists always uplifting the messaging and the power behind art which can tell stories uh, which can give messages um, of, of, of clean air of climate and I think that for myself that was something that was powerful and what was behind this event. In collaboration with the City of Riverside's Department of Arts and Cultural Affairs and UC Riverside's Office of Sustainability, Metrolink organized a smog-eating mural painting at UCR's Garden. Uh, and today we're here for uh, in celebration of the Clean Air Day. Um, and so uh, a couple of different groups coming together. It's Metrolink uh, and a lot of the work that they're doing around alternative tra transportation. Um, we're also working with the R-Cycle, which is actually the shipping container. Um, they have a lot of their um, bicycle goods there and they actually help repair student bikes on campus. Working together, they brought to life an original artwork by local artist Ekaterina Orlovy using an air purifying paint additive that actively cleans the surrounding air. With the paint itself is kind of the special thing too, is that it's a company out of Chile that's called Fotio, and they, it's a paint additive that you can add to the paint, and it actually helps um, reduce, uh, or it's like a smog eating paint. This is the second time I'm using Fotio uh, in paint, and it's really just an additive, so you just mix it in the paint, it's really, it's very simple. This inspiring project promotes clean air and supports education and community development. Um, and so we're really excited that this kind of combination of all these different groups uh, are coming together for Clean Air Day um, and supporting alternative transportation. And as we know, climate change um, and, and air pollution are all kind of tied together. And so we're all coming together and the mural is a good symbolization of that. Metrolink further partnered with Los Angeles-based nonprofit Create Now to empower youth through a multi-themed art program educating them about air quality and encouraging environmentally friendly actions for a healthier future. Yeah, we acknowledge it and like we're gathering here today, we're kind of raising awareness, uh, we're coming together as a community. That's all important for a cause. I think it's really important that we do that. So I, I grew up in the desert where we're kind of car dependent and if you don't have a car there's no way to get around. So I feel as if uh, moving to like car alternatives like the train or even bike or any other alternative is like uh, amazing because I feel I feel as if you you contribute more to uh, the the climate in general. Um, and then the community is able to come and be a part of painting. Uh, we always see that that makes a difference in how people feel in terms of being connected to the event and the message. Um, so I really felt that this was a, a beautiful uh, piece that came together with a lot of great partners. So I really want to give a big shout out to Metrolink for your Clean Air Day initiative and all the work you do throughout the year uh, to elevate our communities and provide them access to all the different resources.